Bear again. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so we want to talk about uh, want to talk about legs, leg strength, uh, also flexibility of the waist, twisting as it relates to spinal health. And in order to do that, I want to teach you one. Um, I want to teach you one little set of moves from what is known as the five animal frolics, Qigong. And this move is um, it comes from the bear portion of five animal frolics. And what we're going to do here is find a nice high, wide horse stance. Okay, depending on flexibility level, you may be able to go lower or wider, but in this case what we're looking for here is uh, the ability to deepen the stance, engaging with the leg muscles, inner outer leg muscles, front and back. Um, but we are also interested in maintaining some spinal structure some in alignment integrity here so the back should be nice and straight the tailbone we want to be flat and moving down towards the earth so we aren't looking for any lumbar curve which will often happen if you're too deep you'll feel your butt starting to stick out right so we don't want the butt to stick out we want it to be we want the pelvis to be open and the tailbone to be moving forward in between uh, the two ilia joints back here or the ilia bones anyway so your hip bones right so check your posture by placing your hands on your hips can you move your tailbone forward and back if not you might be a little too low so bring yourself up a little bit so nice wide stance, as wide as will allow you to move your tailbone. The feet are going to open up a little bit. The toes will open up a little bit. Again, looking something like this. Feel my legs already starting to engage and activate. I'm coming into awareness here, coming into conversation with the femur bones as they relate to the hip socket. So femur bone, ilia bones in the hips, and you got your sacrum, coccyx, tailbone duo there. Also the knee joint and the bones in the legs down through the feet. Okay, so in this posture of high horse, we are finding out how, um, how our bones are lined up. So oftentimes I feel like I'm struggling a little bit to hold this position. A breath actually engages and allows me to find some stillness where my bones can stack themselves accordingly and I can stay upright with little to no effort. Okay, the arms are gonna come out to 90 degrees at the elbow. Palms are gonna open up to the sky looking something like this and we're gonna twist so when we find this position again we're checking in with our foundation can I move my tailbone forward and down is my neck my crown suspended from the sky do I feel slightly buoyant <laughs> okay from here without twisting the hips okay so there's no hip twist action here we're staying very still in the hips I'm going to twist at the waist, inhale, exhale, back to center, inhale, exhale back to the center, inhale. Exhale back to the center. Inhale. So 
So in this case, what we're doing is the waist, the shoulders, and the eyes are all moving, the eyes being the head, shoulders, neck, head, all twisting gently on an inhale at the same pivot here. So I'm not twisting and wrenching too far back because then I lose the integrity of my waist. Okay, so we're looking to strengthen again, strengthening the bones and the legs, strengthening the foundation and the connection with the earth through the tailbone and the heels, and also strengthening the waist while gently twisting the spine, not to full capacity, but maintaining our 70% rule. So I know that I could go further, but I don't because I'm looking for an effortless breath or an effortless inhale exhale pattern and if I strain or if I twist too far I'm going to cause my whether it's my lungs or my abdomen to constrict and try and pull more air in so I want soft and rhythmic breathing with the movement here maintaining the squareness of the hips while maintaining waist, shoulders, nest, face, eyes, neck, and head. Exhale back to center. Okay, try it out. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you find out. This posture is called bear turns. All right. See you next time. Thank you.